Hey, it's Coach Chris, and I'm going to show you some competitive shooting drills using the IC3 basketball rebounder that I really love. So if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos, turn on the notifications, and if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments, or if you'd like to see any other videos, just let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see. That makes kids have fun, first of all, they're going to have a ton of fun doing this, it's a competitive shooting drill, and then it makes it easy because the balls are going to come right down the chute from the IC3, and I'm going to fire it out to each one. And the first one we're going to do is really simple. We're just going to go to a spot. First player to make 10 shots is going to win. And you can do however you want. You can do best of seven, best of five, three, whatever you want to do, change spots, we'll do that. Our first game is going to be making 10 from a spot. Don't miss your free workout. Just click down in the description to get your free workout or right up here and I'll email it to you right away. So we're gonna use three basketballs for two players and the balls are gonna come right down the chute and I'll just alternate firing out each pass. Now, if you're a coach, you have this in your gym and it will work on a backboard 60 inches or bigger without the telescoping pull. So you can just hang it over the rim. The arms in the back will brace it against the pad on your goal. So you can easily do this in a gym too. And it's a great device to use for your team because now I don't have to go chase a bunch of basketballs around and we don't have balls flying out. And if you want to replace me, right here with a player and have them working on their passing you can do that as well so we're going to 10 first player to make 10 shots wins go and each player is counting their own makes got that one You gotta say your scores out. All right, so that's Ted. One aspect that I would really work on as a coach with my team is if we're doing that, we do this as a team as well. So you could have two kids at a spot, three kids, whatever you wanted. But there's a mental aspect to this too. Obviously it's competitive, every shot's important because you're counting the first one to 10. The next part of this is if the players count how many they're making out loud, that puts pressure on the other player when they get behind. So if I got eight, somebody's got five and I'm sitting there counting seven, eight. Now that kid's under even more pressure when they're shooting to perform. And again, we're practicing. We wanna put pressure on them in practice so that it makes the game easier when they actually play. So this one, we're just gonna add a dribble. So we're gonna go between, between, all right? Now, it's important that the players get low on this and it's for rhythm. It's not only for shooting off the dribble, but I really like it for developing rhythm in shooting off the dribble and your shot periods. So it's between, between, into a hop is what we're gonna do. And you gotta get low on that hop. If you're fumbling the ball while you're doing this, I see kids do this, you know, they're standing up, they're trying to do this and the ball's coming up high like that and they can't control it. If you're down low, it's small dribbles. We want high ball and hand time so the ball is in my hand most of the time. It's not here in the air going up there because I'm standing up dribbling. Get your butt down, dribble low, low to high on our shot. We're going from low to high. We're not doing high, high, low, high. It's low, low, and then you go. All right, here we go. We're going to five. Go. Two quick hard dribbles. So it adds some pressure to the dribbling now too. Because now they gotta handle the ball. The quicker they dribble the ball, the quicker they're gonna get their shot off and the more shots they're gonna get up.
Now we're here by counting. Five, all right. That's five. And then as a coach, you know, you can have the winners, the losers got to run, do push-ups, whatever you want to add even more pressure on the shot. But you want to do pressure shooting drills, and the IC3 is a great way as a parent at home, if you got multiple kids or you just even got one kid, to do a lot of shooting in a short amount of time without having to spend time chase basketballs. Okay, so our next competition, you can do any shooting drills you want, but now we're going to work on floaters. Yeah, we're going to do floaters against the IC3 because we get down about in here and it's a great representation of shooting over a 6'8", 6'10", 7 foot player. So I'm going to rebound the ball, I'm going to toss it out to them, they're going to get it, put it up off the glass and in. And if you can shoot over this thing from here, you're learning to shoot up high Make it kiss the window. You want the ball to be coming down as it hits the glass. We're not shooting this floater that's a missile. We want it to kiss the backboard. Ball hits on glass on the way down. So we're working on a really nice high arcing floater and put it over anybody. Okay, so it's again a great way to really perfect your floater and get a ton of shots up. And we can work in the middle too, even though that net's up pretty high there. This is a great practice for working on getting the ball, ball up in the air and getting lots of reps in. If they don't bank them, it doesn't count. Go. Great way to get a lot of shots up with the IC3 rebounder, floaters, you know, anything about if you want to float, you can easily get right in here about five feet and put them in. And then of course, around seven, eight feet and out, you can get your jump shots 10 feet and out easily with this and get a lot of reps up.